What's the crack lads? Welcome back. Here's a bit dodgy, but we don't care. We're going to bring you a video today on the live update players. So if you are a newcomer, you might not realize that every week the players get a live update, right? Which this basically means is that players have been on form, that are scoring goals, getting assists, and that are playing well in real life fixtures such as Bellingham at Real Madrid, or such as Haaland with City, or whoever. It doesn't matter if they have the license or not you will be able to get a list of players that will be on form or not on form. So looking through my squad here, you can check by pressing square on the PS5 or X on the Xbox pad or PC. You can check and see what these players' conditions are or their form is, right? And you can also check and see in their actual player profile as well. So you'll see here that Sané is on A with up a Meccano, Casemiro's on B, Ashi's on B. So, and then you'll also have players that are on like, you know, D and E if they're on really bad form or C is just standard form. Now, there isn't massive changes to this. I still think that players on standard form are fine. But if you're looking to get a boost, you will notice that if people are on A form or B form, they will perform better. Even though they don't visually show you the stat increase anymore, they used to. Um, now that's tied to the manager boost. There is still an increase in the player's abilities when they are on the higher form, okay? So every week we have done this since the live update has been going. We've missed a couple of weeks when we've been busy. But if you want to check out and buy some players, just try it out yourself. Fill your squad with A players or B players, depending on who's up. We're going to give you our top tips, right? So you can do this both ways. You can check both ways. You can obviously go into your game plan here, go to team, go to auto pick by players and go by stats if you want the highest rated players in. But you can also go into your reserves here and filter this by the play, uh, the live update rating. So you can go into that and see what players are on A that's within your club. And then you can decide, right, maybe this week I'll play Caicedo, maybe I'll play Bellingham. Any of these guys or all of these guys are on A form and you might actually try to play them. We also have the players on A form that are going to be the player of the week players. So not the European player of the week players this week, but we do have these players that are all going to be on A form as well. So if you get one of these and if you decided to spin, they're all going to be on A form as well because they're the player of the weeks that they've chosen. The other player of the week sometimes are not on this. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not because these are done in a different way, right? So that's just to kind of add, to talk to you through it there. Like Ter Stegen gets a card here, but he's on D rating, okay? So what does this really mean? Well, it just makes an ability change to their stats. That's all. So you can check this two ways. The first way is to go into the standard player list players here. I'll keep this very short. It's mostly for newcomers anyway. And then all you're going to do is go press on triangle or else Y on an Xbox pad. You're going to go down to live update rating, click A, and then that is going to sort all the players that are on A form this week. Nice and handy. You've got Bellingham, Salah, Valverde, Gundo, up in Meccano, Hakimi, and so on and so forth. You've got some good players in here, right? There's also a second way to check if you use a DB. I use eFootballDB.com. Um... You can click on players here, go to search filters, and then you can obviously go to here, and that will sort all the players for A form. And then you can decide, right, well, I want players that are aged, you know, under the age of 23, um, and I'll be able to get those into my squad if I'm building the young squads. So now you can see, right, all of these players are aged under the age of 23. They also are on A form this week, and they've got ability where they have at least 75 uh, low pass so you're like right these are my players that i can buy this week if i'm looking for a pass and center midfielder okay so you can have a bit more variety in that but you can still filter this as well if you want to do by position or price so top picks very very short and sweet lads i'm going to give you my top five to six players here starting with bellingham i think bellingham is incredible he's a fantastic player I was down on him for a while, but once you kind of know what you're getting with Bellingham, he is a beast, and he is one of the best box-to-box -box in the games now. Don't be expecting him to score a lot of goals. Like, I used to score a lot of goals with Goretzka, even though his stats weren't great. Bellingham is more of just a defensive type player. That is how I would train him up. If you've got any version of Bellingham, he can be a monster for you. Salah, I don't really rate too highly when he's on A form. He is quite decent. He's rinsed me a couple of times when I've played against him, but I still don't think that the game captures his Salah-esque compared to like the likes of Messi or other players like that. Valverde gets a big thumbs up from me. He's the second on the list that I would say. Open Meccano is kind of a difficult player to play with because he is down as a build-up player rather than a destroyer. So if you are using him for your aerial uh, defender and the aerial threat for target men, I still think he's not as good as some other players in there. So I give him a little miss. Hakimi, one of the best left, right back or three at the back uh, hybrid wing back players he gets a thumbs up as well even his standard card is incredible as a dribble centric right back that still has a little bit of defensive capabilities martinelli one of the best super subs in the game if you get his player of the week card his standard card is quite decent as well if you're looking for pace and impact coleman the same but i would have to give my 
Um, shout to Sane and Davies and Moani, right? This guy is incredible. Really, really solid deep line forward. Can score, can shoot, can do everything that you possibly could want. Sane and Davies, don't need to say much about those absolute beasts. Sane is an absolute incredible player. And Davies, one of the best left backs in the game. I'd say attacking wise, Davies is the best left back in the game apart from Hakimi. Caicedo, if you are missing a CMF, that is a really dominant player that you want to have. You could go worse than him. He's a beast. Kind of like Kante when Kante used to play for Chelsea. And his standard card is even insane. So try out a couple of those lads. You can see them all there for yourself. There's some really good players in there. My boy Goretzka is back. Oh, I still love Goretzka man. He has a special place in my heart. But that is it for me. Just a very very short video. For any newcomers make sure and get a couple of A players into your squad. So that's it lads. Talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.